On the shores of the Potomac River, in the heart of our nation's capital, lies a military complex with a significant strategic role in the national security of our nation. It does not house the weapons of war, but rather it represents America's greatest storehouse of knowledge, experience, and intellectual capital on virtually every aspect of national and international security. The National Defense University. Through NDU's halls, past leaders that shape entire generations, leaders educated and prepared to protect and defend America and the cause of freedom for decades to come. For over a quarter of a century, the National Defense University, under the direction of the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, has played a vital, ever-expanding role in the defense of our nation, educating military and civilian leaders from the Department of Defense, the State Department, and other U.S. government agencies and over 60 allied countries to address ever more complex international security challenges. With components dating back to 1924, today's National Defense University has become the world leader in advanced and joint professional military education with three main academic pillars, education, research, and outreach. Today, the university is comprised of four colleges, the National War College, whose curriculum emphasizes national security strategy, the Industrial College of the Armed Forces, educating future leaders and managing the resource component of national security, the Joint Forces Staff College, located in Norfolk, Virginia, providing education in joint, multinational, and interagency operational level planning and warfighting, and the Information Resources Management College, preparing leaders to direct the information component of national power. NDU also houses the School for National Security Executive Education, which offers security professionals the knowledge needed to operate in an increasingly complex global security environment. Most of the students are in what we would call mid-career fellows or students, uh, 40, 45, uh, already hold a master's degree, some even hold PhDs. Uh, many, many of our students, over half of our students, are coming to us for class and have just come from the battlefield. The idea is to take students who have a lot of life experience and get them to think on a slightly more abstract level about major theories and major relationships in international relations. National Defense University, I believe, provides you an opportunity, a venue, if you will, to get that, that, uh, that dialogue, that questioning, uh, the interaction with academics. It also provides you an opportunity for senior officers to take a break for a year and think. This 10 months that we're here, I will tell you that 90% of the people here will tell you it's the first time they've had an opportunity to pick up a book and read a book and maybe it's somebody else's opinion. If you're always headed down the same track on cruise control, doing what you do day in and day out, you hardly ever get a chance to venture outside of that and say, hey, is there another way to do this, a better way to do it? An accredited university, NDU provides graduate level education to over a thousand students on any given day and awards over 500 master's degrees each year. We try to identify what are some of the issues that are a little bit over the horizon that they don't have time to worry about as their day-to-day -day, uh, crises are erupting. Uh, we try to provide that kind of perspective on some issues that they should be paying a little more attention to and hopefully provide some ideas about how to get in a good position to deal with those issues over the horizon. How do you integrate most effectively the four elements of power? Military power, political, or diplomatic if you prefer, informational and economic. How do, you, how do you work together in an environment where it's no longer stovepipe and the military just does military instrument of power kinds of things? The dynamic curricula at NDU, the superior quality of its faculty, and the broad diversity of its students who come from the military as well as many agencies of the federal government, the private sector, and the international community give rise to an atmosphere of independent thought, the free exchange of ideas, and the development of critical leadership and decision-making skills. Extensive real-world case and field studies, interactive exercises, lectures and seminar discussions are all supported by state-of-the-art technology, unique virtual reality simulations, hands-on laboratories, 
and a library collection exceeding 500,000 publications, which today represents the most definitive source on national security policy, military strategy, and resource management. The Institute for National Strategic Studies, the Center for Technology and National Security Policy, and the Center for the Study of Weapons of Mass Destruction are leading research into significant topics and issues of national security importance. Through the Distinguished Lecture Program, students gain broad perspective on national issues and policies from senior civilian executives and military leaders, including members of Congress, cabinet officials, Supreme Court justices, and even at times, the President of the United States. The Capstone General and Flag Officer course, the Pinnacle course, and the Keystone course prepare generals, admirals, and senior enlisted leaders for their responsibilities in directing the armed forces in the modern national security environment. Through the Joint Reserve Affairs Center, reservists learn about national security policy and defense resource management. The NATO Staff Officers Orientation Corps provides U.S. officers and government employees with information about alliance organization and structure, economic and political issues, and its multicultural aspects. Important outreach initiatives, including conferences, symposia, and workshops, help foster critical links domestically and internationally between the university and other educational institutions, as well as government entities and business and industry. These and other university programs and components together form a comprehensive learning approach to the most critical security challenges facing America in the 21st century. One of the fastest growing components of the National Defense University is the International Fellows Program. Adding to the diversity of NDU students and extending the worldwide reach and impact of the university, this program attracts senior officers and civilians from over 60 nations annually to study, conduct research, and grow in their understanding of our political, social, and economic institutions and our military decision-making process. Most of these countries have very competitive processes to select the student they send here, and most of these people are going to be movers and shakers in their own militaries and governments. These students relate to the world in stereotypes. Uh, the American, uh, you know, the, the tourist or, or, or the American military, you know, uh, there's a stereotype there. We break down the stereotype. The NDU education program not only equips these future world leaders for key diplomatic and national security roles in their respective countries, but most importantly, builds lasting relationships and bonds that are immeasurable in the long-term goal of international peace and stability and the cause of freedom around the world. Uh, when they leave here, they have a network that will stay with them for as long as they live. And they stay in contact with each other. Um, so if and when we have to go somewhere else to do something else in the world, chances are we've got graduates from our programs there who have real-time contact with our leadership and it's a, it's a group of wonderful people from different countries, from, with different religions, with, with different culture, with different experiences, just sharing with them all these experiences almost every day. It's something very fantastic. Other NDU programs, including the Secretary of Defense Corporate Fellows Program and the ICAF Industry Fellows, provide valuable bridges to understanding and vital networks for military, multi-agency, and private sector leaders. Critical programs like these enhance the diverse learning community at NDU. The foundations of NDU reach back to Theodore Roosevelt, Dwight D. Eisenhower, and a legacy of leaders who have guided the country through decisive moments. And today, as we look ahead, Seeing the possibility for even more treacherous times, the critical importance of the National Defense University becomes abundantly clear. Through collaboration, excellence and in innovation, NDU will persist as a stronghold for military and civilian leaders from the United States and other countries to evaluate national and international security challenges, guiding our nation into the future.